our YouTube channel, we don't ask for any donations or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But what we would like you to do if if you are interested in helping us out uh, is to go to Amazon.com and buy some of our books. We've got uh, at least, I think, four or five on Amazon. But this particular book I wrote um, and I finished, oh, I don't remember, 2018 or something like that. And um, it is so apropos for right this minute. I thought it would be fun to read you a little excerpt from Mission Ambro. Mission Ambro, Ambro, <laughs> Ambro. Okay. Here we go. Eventually, being told he was an upper level operative, the agency took VFN into the bowels of Soviet Union counterintelligence. He was taken past the agencies involved in underground resistance groups, past sabotage and the subversion of hostile states, deeper into then the intelligence analysis arm of international think groups. He was taken even deeper in a pseudo black operations organization set up to divert the United States central intelligence heads, Frank Weisner and Alan Dulles, with a labyrinth of busy work. Fiofan had been taken to the God particle of psychological warfare, Genesis 12, where the nightmare of unimaginably powerful propaganda had been conceived. They manufactured black propaganda operations where terrorists portrayed themselves as the victims in order to arouse rage against the injustice, fomenting war such as in Gladio, Northwoods, Douay. Here was the inception of false flag distortions of science, politics, history, geography, and sociology, but especially theology. Genesis 12 was most masterful at theological sabotage, force-fed to manipulate the general public. It would annihilate a human's ability to process information. The strategy was to overwhelm with information and disinformation, the true and the false. Don't teach one, but have billions of competing truths out there so no human could possibly know which was true. Create widespread disillusionment of trusted sources, flood the media with skillful, deceptive, satirical, conspiratorial, as well as deliberately amateurish sources. For the ultimate goal of disinformation was and is still an existential distrust, not just to cause people to distrust each other, but to distrust their own perceptions and ultimately their very own existence. And when breakdown of reality occurs in the human mind for its own survival, it will then cling to a savior lie. And that is what Genesis 12 does. It creates the crisis, then offers the solution. It gives the world the savior lie, the father of all lies. Theophan had been processed through the machine and never again could trust anyone or anything. <laughs>